In this video, we will be finding out which is the best path for the Bomb Shooter, Balloon Crusher, Moab Eliminator, and Bomb Blitz. Looking at each one's stats, price, and overall chemistry. Let's do this. Welcome back everyone. So we got the Bomb Shooter. Now, just a little known fact, the starting stats are damage is 1, pierce is 14, pretty high, attack speed is 1.5, and range is 40. Starting out, this guy cannot see camo at all and cannot pop black balloons. So that's something to actually look at. Lighter ones, he's able to actually pop, but not the black ones. So with that starting stuff out of the way, now we can actually look at which is the best path. Now, per usual, we will start with the top half, the balloon crusher. Now, starting out with bigger bombs, first, his explosion is buffed. Instead of 14 pierce, it is now 20 pierce plus 6 pierce. So let's see a pink one. Bop, bop, bop. Now, his damage is low, so this works out if there's plenty of them because of the range and the sound explosion, but still pretty good starting out. Now we can move on to the second upgrade, heavy bombs. <laughs> Now, with heavy bombs, his damage is increased to 2, plus 1 damage, and pierce is increased to 30, plus 10 pierce. So, it's a little stronger. Radius is still the same. You cannot see camo ones. Don't worry, we're going to fly through this. Really big bombs. <laughs> Again, no radius impact. If you want more radius, you can run like a 302. That's what it usually is. Frag bombs. But just as a 300, his explosion is buff. One plus damage. So total of three and 20 extra pierce. 50 pierce now. But if you do run him as a 302, which is actually decently well, his damage is increased even more. Plus two damage. And radius is also increased. Pierce is increased by one. But you can also get the cluster. So the dart shoots out. Plus more range. Yeah, so as you can see, frag bombs. There's a lot of stuff into it. I'm not really gonna go over it now just a little note this guy is paired up with striker jones to make it even stronger but for balloon impact this is where people usually stop upgrading him just because look at balloon crusher 46 000 on easy that's a lot now for the balloon impact this is kind of big especially early on but he does get outclassed by icicle impale he is buffed he gets a one second stun on balloons it does not affect blimps so his radius is increased by three so it's 43 it's a little bigger nothing crazy the main difference difference is is a cross path the best cross path people use is 420 so he shoots even faster projectile speed even faster so this helps stunning even more let's just try to throw a bunch of peak ones by him and now he's able to stun bam and you really want to target him on first two but since we're doing all paths we can move on to balloon crusher at a whopping 46,000. this guy is a beast and now can actually pop black balloons only just for you know 46,000 cash pretty big price if you ask me but exactly what this does is now his damage is increased to 12 plus 9 damage and if he send a couple blimps by mobs now they actually get stunned that's actually crazy it doesn't do an insane amount of damage to mobs but it can stun them for quite a bit like look at that just constantly stuns them for two seconds now i mean let's just speed it up like is he just knocking them back too it's a really good strat for mobs and even with the bfbs too it does stun them like we just had to speed it up like look how fast 25 times speed and it's taking forever of course having a 420 gives it a little extra range but look at that shoots even faster now bam sorry he was outclassed by cryo cannon that's what it is in spiked balls for a balloon crusher at a tier 5 i would have to give this guy a solid b tier so it's hot path out of the way now we can do the middle path now as you seen earlier we get fast reload missile launcher increased speed and range but mainly just for the mobs which helps so much so for fast reload let's do that now exactly what is fast reload well it shoots every 1.125 seconds which is still decently good it's not the greatest at the start but it's only for 210 cash so nothing crazy it reloads 20 percent faster really instead of a bomb shooter we can actually change to a missile launcher the second upgrade oh now it's a missile now what this does is it shoots even faster now every 0.821 seconds it also increases radius by four so now it's 44 radius and increases projectile speed by how much i don't really know now mainly this guy is kind of used for spamming so if you actually want to do that you probably want like a 130 or 140 or 150 now for the moab mauler bam gold now now exactly what it does it doesn't actually increase damage for balloon types radius is increased to 49 plus 5 radius but if we actually send a moab through plus 18 moab damage that's kind of crazy let's just switch him to strong right now bam look at that tearing it up like look at that just pop one moab by itself and that is only not even a thousand on easy two so they keep really good against round 40 clearing out and it has something else helping with it pierce is not exactly crazy at the start but you can always throw bigger bombs to increase that too 
so like a 130. That helps with the Moabs and single balloons too. But try to have them strong. If we do send in black balloons, he cannot hit them. Now with the third upgrade out of the way, we can move on to Moab Assassin. At 2600, bam, two or four. He actually gets an ability, like all metal pass. Now we can do a quick rundown of it exactly. He has buff, radius, plus five. So now it's 45 radius. His explosion buff is increased. So it's actually plus four ceramic damage, five. And if we send a Moab through, plus 12 Moab damage, which is actually really good. So 31 total Moab damage. So he actually heals those Moabs. And the assassin, I think he fires one. The assassin, infinite range, 750 damage, 30 second cooldown. This guy is actually really good against ceramic ones and of course the Moabs. Of course running as bigger bombs for more pierce, that helps a lot. Like look at that, now it just tears it up. But that is a fourth tier. Why not just move up all the way to the last tier? Moab Elimination, the cheapest path out of all the paths for the bomb shooter. Sorry, Moab Eliminator. Boom. Now, why not just send one Moab through? Let's see how it actually does. Boom, who shots it? A couple BFBs stacked on each other. Bam, 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 bam. Absolutely cleans up. Moab damage is now 100. And if you try to do like a ZOMG, let's just use the ability, why not? Oh, by the way, the ability, 4,500 damage now. Boom. Completely destroys a ZOMG. This is really good for late to mid game. But yeah, without a doubt, costing it only a little above 20,000. And this guy is a Moab killing machine. I have to give this path an S minus tier. So many strats you can use with him, plus bigger bombs and heavy bombs just for more pierce. But even if we send in black balloons, he can actually pop it. That's the middle path done. Time for the final one. Of course, bomb blitz. Now you guys might be surprised by this. His first upgrade is extra range. If you guys can guess what that does, he has some extra range. That's literally it. So really, it's just seven plus range, 47 range. Nothing crazy, but it's just a start. But frag bombs, this is game changer. Boop. Second upgrade. He does get more range, only two, normal type, on contact, frag bombs, so this little dart shoots out, I think it's eight of them to be exact, one damage, one pierce, sharp type, this damage cannot be buffed, if we send him black balloons, still, he cannot pop it, oh no, he actually can, he can actually pop black balloons now, so that's surprising, I did not know that, cluster bombs, now the frags are replaced with clusters, now it's 10 pierce, 15 range for each one, still one damage, now people do run him as a 203 just for the bigger bombs more pierce you could do faster but it's just better with heavy bombs now time for the game changing one recursor cluster boom look at that now there's a bunch of details i'm not really gonna go over everything it's just that his cluster has a second one to it it's even stronger really really good mid game costing at only 2380 cash on easy now again, bigger bombs and heavy bombs is the way to go. But surprisingly enough, this is best with Striker Jones. And this does more power than Mora Glaives. It is a tier 4 for the Boomerang Monkey. But this guy does a lot better against the Moabs. Just because of that second cluster does a lot of damage and can tear him apart. Now will it say, it, is it better than Moab Assassin with no ability? Eh, depends, depends. Now, usually people just stop it right here because as you can see, bomb blitz 29,000. That is a lot of cash for this tier five. Not even increased range or anything. All it does is plus four damage. All bombs are replaced by super bombs, sure, but gains an ability, but that's if you lose hearts. It's like 2,000 damage, but there's no point of using it if you're doing impoppable or on chimps too. But if you actually do send in a couple Moabs, it does really well against it. This is a 205. So with that being said, for Bomb Blitz, just because you can get away with a 204, I'll have to get this half a solid B tier. We covered every single path. Now it's time to figure out which one is the best. So after looking at each path, top, middle, and bottom, it is safe to say that it's not the top path. No, it's not the middle one. Because a 204 can out prioritize bomb blitz or impoppable and chimps. 
is without a doubt the metal path with an ability to chemistry is super good with striker jones look at that destroys those and there you have it you have found out which is the best path for this guy the cross path at a 250 that is the best one for the bomb shooter and that is all i have for you guys today if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to like comment subscribe please enjoy the rest of your guys's day let me know in the comments down below what other monkeys i should do i will see you guys later peace